are all having a little ribby bone this morning. That's Fred. Quinn. Albert. <laughs> Wolf. Look at this big boy joining in. They've all got fat bellies. They're eating plenty now. Quinn. Quinn and Fred keep leaving theirs. I'm going to take somebody else's, not even taking each other's. Little buggers. And now Fred's got two. Well, it's your own fault. You shouldn't have left it. Yeah. Fat wolf. Oh, I'm not really bothered how fat they get. We can soon sort that out when they're 100%. Which they really are. They've put on loads of um, body weight. In fact, I think uh, Quinn's the only one that's still just a tiny bit ribby. But not a lot. Fred's put it on. Albert was really, really ribby. He's put it on. This little fat pork's put it on. Haven't you, Rocky? And you? I think there's two of you. Fat Sue. Fat Sue. Is that nice? Hello, Quinn. Quinn's a bit shy. He runs off. So we've got a bit of work to do with him, but it's easy enough. The young Fred. Oh, but you've left yours again. He's only about half the size of Wilf. Um, what day is it today? I haven't got a bloody clue. Another three or four days. Uh, <coughs> I'll probably put him in here overnight with the rest of them. He's still weaker than the rest of them, you know, and uh, I'd rather wait until he's strong enough to take care of himself should any uh, there be any fallouts or what have you. He's still sleeping in the conservatory and waking me up at ridiculous o'clock. I was listening to him at gone three this morning. I gave up at quarter to four and get up, got up. And mind you, he was hungry. So I had his breakfast and then curled up next to me on the sofa. <laughs> 